What's up, y'all? This is William Mustafa, Artworks of William Mustafa. I am the Imagineer on Instagram. And on this episode of $10,000, I'm gonna walk you through my day in the city. Yes, in the city. Today, I carry three different lenses with me. I carry the vintage Nikkor 135mm 2.8. I also carry the Samyang 35mm 1.4 and I also had the 75 millimeter 1.8. So if you guys wanna see what my day was in the street with these three lenses, keep watching. Now, now we're gonna go into the train station and catch the train. And in doing so, I usually like to start with a wider lens first because that allows me to kind of take advantage of getting more comfortable and not just jump into the streets and just, you know, take bad pictures. I like to take one or two shots, two shots at the most to kill my composition and not spray and pray, as they say. If it's here, I get on it. If not, I'll wait. And it looks like it's not here, so. Okay, so let's check and see what next time. Oh shit, I got the wrong one. Twelve oh two. Don't forget about this. Make sure I'm on the right train. The train was a little irritating today because it was running late and you kind of want to get into a flow state when you're out there usually i have my earphones on and i'm grooving listening to the right type of music so it makes it a little bit more easier for me to get out there and handle my business but with the train getting into the station late and me jumping on a different train eh, it kind of got my day off to a wicked start now once i got into the train station i started looking around and trying to see if i can find something that's interesting Starting with the 135, all my shots are not great. I like the 135, but it being my warm-up lens, I don't really see it as taking a bunch of great images. It's just getting acclimated to being outside and capturing okay, try it. it. The reason why I like shooting with a longer lens to start is because um, I'm just getting into finding where I'm gonna go and I'm searching for compositions, right? So in searching for compositions, I start longer so I can just start picking off people as I see them. You can usually find a lot of good scenes from people walking in and out of the restaurants. A lot of fanciful people, you know, this is Milan, so people are very fashionable. Nothing big, there's a guy standing here in between the building. So the point is I'm gonna act like I'm taking pictures of this and I'm gonna make a video and it's gonna pan Pan, 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 and now when I get him in focus, right now, boom, 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 got him. And let's keep moving. In this area, you're able to kind of capture 
some cool people, some decent gestures, some decent narratives, but you kind of got to keep your eyes. It's special. There's, there's a certain type of feeling that you get when you see something that's, you know, motivating a little bit. And that was one of them. This guy here is checking himself in the collection. This person here is smoking, he's gonna drop the cigarette smooth. Mm -hmm. Missed it. Here. I don't know if I got him in focus. Could have, maybe. Boom. Maybe. Not sure. Could have been something. You know, the guys here sitting with these white clothes on, it'd be good. He's good, but not great. A decision that I have to make. I can either go left and go into the streets and alleyways, which are good, but because it's lunchtime, people are concentrated more towards restaurants and these streets are empty. I take my days in a manner of going from far to close to closer. Now, usually I will walk this way and go through Chinatown, but I've already gone through, I shot in Chinatown last week. I could take some architectural photos, but that's not what today's goal was, so I didn't even bring out the right lens. I'm gonna go down this way. There's a lot of nice little cool streets down here that I can shoot in. So, I decided to go straight. Straight into town. This lady in green is awesome. Check my white balance. Oh my. This lady in the red is cool, right up here, but it's nothing special. She's on the phone. People on the phone are that fun, but the red. Cool. And what you want to do sometimes to get the compositions that you want. You want to put yourself in position to capture the shot. Like this guy here on this machine, on the scooter, I want to get them. So I want to kind of get low and capture him as he's coming in. So then we'll track him. Boom, boom, boom. Bop, got him. So that was a shot. It's not special, but it, it's something. I wanted to get this old lady here. Boom, boom, boom. I shot completely blind. I don't know if I got her or anything. There's a guy I just caught a minute ago. Put it here. Boom. I like his Gucci sweater. His Gucci scarf. He was a moment. I see a lot of traffic coming from this way, so. You want to follow the floor of the street. It's a red light, but we're going to take it. Lady with the pizza box, boom, 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 boom. Get closer, boom, got her. Now walking through this traffic, this lady here. I don't know, so she has a particular look later in the cigarette. This guy's face, boom, boom, boom. Fake nose, I gotta check and see if I got him. I didn't even check my focus. Damn, I missed that shot. It was a guy that had a fake nose. Where'd he go? I'm gonna go for him. I'm gonna try to get another picture of him. I want it. So let's go. And this is what happens when you see somebody who you want to get an image of. He's not walking fast. And I didn't catch him, but I know I can get him. So I get a, get a front, of, front of him. So how can I get in front of him here? Uh, Ah. This is the guy here with the black shirt. So, let's get some detail shots of him first. His hand. Here. Now I'm going to get in front of him, right? Then if I can get ahead of him, then I can shoot. 
Uh, this is the first. So I need to get a fake shot here. And then now, time to. And I got him. Got him. All right. And that's what I do when I want to actually. I hope I got it. But I think I did. When you're walking out here, sometimes you find some interesting things like a video store. Like, who goes to a video store anymore? DVDs. It's crazy that that's classic. The light here for them is great. Boom, boom, boom. No, there's a guy, there's a waiter here I want to get. So I'm going to try to catch him and hope for the best. All right, let's go. Let's see if I can catch him. He's going to have to walk back and forth. So let's hold the camera up and hope I get him. Boom, 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 boom. All right, got him. Lit the girl in the red. Up, oh, getting her. Getting prepared. Getting prepared. In here. Focus, 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 focus. Another fashionable guy here. Walk up on him real close. This is the third one. These kids here. This girl here. Him and close to the wall. Oh, no, no. I remember this one, too. This woman was standing in the sunlight. The guy Almost here like it was a triangular shape that was set. And she was in the light and everything else was shadowed. I think that image is going to come out pretty good. But back to the other guy. The guy here in the smoke. I think he's good if he inhales again. So I'm going to slow down. Upon walking down the street, I saw this gentleman pull on this nice cigar and he blew out this heavy mist of smoke. I'll wait for him to inhale again. The guy directly in front of me. He doesn't notice me, but I'm waiting for him to inhale with a cigar. And I really wanted to capture this image of him, especially the way the light was coming from behind him, backlighting the smoke. And the angle in which the shadow was formed completed a triangle which pointed the emphasis towards him and if he would have blew out the smoke at the right time with the triangle and the shadow it would have been dope so i'm gonna wait for him again but the motherfucker never turned around and put himself in that right position i waited and Come i really on. don't like to wait in the streets because for me i feel like i'm wasting time but i did wait a little bit and i tried to catch him and i think i got something decent i want him to inhale You don't see me, I'm standing right here, but he needs to inhale. The sun behind him is going to catch the smoke exactly how I want. He's turned my back to him, now he's going to look mysterious. Still hasn't inhaled, so rarely do I like to wait for pictures, but now he's inhaled, so now I'm going to walk up on him. Around this time was around two, so now it's time for me to eat. And I wanted to make my way to the Duomo area so I can uh, eat at Five Guys or something American, something really cheap, so I don't want to spend a lot of money. And then from that um, point, turn around and head back towards Corso Buenos Aires, take a few shots, hop on the subway train, and head back to Monza. But before I did that, I kind of just, you know, what do you call it, meandered through the gallery. But in this area, you always have people doing their selfies and making their little pictures and stuff. And for me, it, it's old. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Rambling again. Well, by this time today, I 
had another appointment that I needed to make by six and I was already out in the street so my time started ticking so I needed to kind of make my way back quickly through the city and that's yeah. what I did. Oh yeah! Now ladies and gentlemen, it is very easy and it counts on three. I would like everyone to clap, scream, show me some love and I give you all a very good show. Keep in mind, good energy, good show, bad energy, bad show. So at the end of the show, if you did not like what you see, let yourself. Here we go. Clap, count of three, go crazy. One, two, three! <laughs> Let's try that one more time. I said, So I zip, zip, zip back through the city and made it back to Milano Centrale. Squishy face. Really quickly, uh, my camera went dead a little bit earlier, so I really didn't get a chance to do exactly what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Uh, hold on. Come on. Milano Centrale, the big train station here in Milan. And at the end of these videos, I try to give some type of um, educational thing that I feel during the day of my shooting. So today, what did I learn? To not drink coffee before I come out to shoot. No, 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 no. Realistically speaking, you have to get into the flow of things when you come out. Uh, you can't expect to just come out and get the best shot ever as soon as you get out of here. You gotta take your time and get in the groove. What I wanna leave you guys with today is be a little patient when you get out. Before we go, because this video isn't really over yet, I'm gonna take my as into the train station where there's always a bunch of interesting compositions i'm going to see when the next train comes and i'm going to try to be in the house by six o'clock so right now it's 4 30 and i want to be in the house by six can we get it as he just said or i just said um i really like milano centrale it's a lot of personality in one place The train station itself is a really interesting place to actually come out and do photography because you always catch a few interesting compositions and because I've shot here so much, I don't always like to shoot the same thing that I've always shot. So what I'm going to do is kind of try to be a little careful and pick specific shots that I regularly or pick shots that I haven't got before or compositions majority. And how I like to frame my work is usually by framing, like, you know, the composition as a stage and the people on the stage. I like the public transportation places because you always get people in different moods. You capture a lot of gestures, you capture a lot of feeling. People running to the get catch their train because their train is late. Families um, happy because they're about to go somewhere businessmen, business women, business persons, business he, she, them, hers, theys are all, you know, gathered in anticipation to do something, to go somewhere sometime. It's a lot of stories that are all gathered in this place. The architecture of Milano Centrale is beautiful. I mean, when I first came over, it's not as grand as Grand Central Station, but it is grand enough that it is where that you can spend just hours just taking in photos of architecture in itself but the general space and the people and the stories that you can find within there are always awesome so so even if i have to wait 
for like a late train because I missed the train when I first got there. So I had to wait like to 520 to capture the train. And my goal was to get home by six. You can still, you know, waste your time efficiently. If that makes any sense. Does that make any sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Who said that? Okay. All right, I'm in the side of the train depot right now. I got about 20 minutes to wait because obviously I missed the last train. Like in the train station, there's always layers. Like you have like the unique architecture that you have within the train station. You have the multiple different layers of like of the top and then the train and the track. So that's always interesting to capture also. And then framing people in between some of those layers are always good. Uh, with this train being here, it would be good if there was another one there. and You can actually place somebody here, 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 here. To kind of get like a multi-layer competition. All those things. Now, I, can, I could always shoot like people in the train, which I like to do, like this little girl here. And she's looking at me, so it's going to be cool if I can get her. Watch, I'm going to go into crop mode and then go boom, boom, boom. I'll wait for her to look again. She's, she was pointing, so I gotta catch her when she looks down again. She gonna look down, she gonna look down. Come on, look. And I'm pointing up at the sky just because I don't want to her to notice, but. Well, she didn't look, but whatever. So you can see better. See her behind me in the train? So I'm just gonna walk right up on the train. I'm looking up, even though I'm not going to look at that. Ew, what the fuck is that? Oh, shit. That was fucking gross. Then I just stepped in some fucking shit. Fuck me, shit. Wait, that's disgusting. Like, people. Like, ugh. I got the shot, but I got shit on my fucking feet. Ah! Fucking human. You want to get low sometimes? I can't get on the track because that would be crazy. But something like that, give or take. I still got shit on my shoe, which like aggravates the fuck out of me. Shit on my shoe, but yeah, yeah. So much you. That's all I can think of right now. Feeder, feeder. I'm a shape eventually. So y'all, this is um if you guys like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button down there to see more. Hit the notification button so you notified when I post brand new content. If you're not following me on Facebook, please follow me on Facebook. And with that said, this is William Safa. I'm William Safa. I imagine on Instagram. I'll let y'all later. Woo! I did it. Deuces. <laughs> I can't believe I got that all out in one breath.